Hello YouTube world, this is Jeffrey aka Bone Central Railroad and I'm here once again at home to show you guys my latest purchase and project. So here is one of the uh, cars. I got myself a set of five MTH streamlined New York Central 20th Century Limited passenger cars. Uh, these are a premier set from 1998 and I was going to put people in them, and I still am going to put people in them, but I was thinking about these, and how bland and gray they look, and I guess you could say that I was spoiled with my uh, Lionel heavyweights, how the interior was already painted, but that's when I got the idea of possibly painting these cars, and painting these cars I'm going to do. I went to AC Moore, got my paint, got my paint brushes. So this is what they look like now. And hopefully I'll show you soon what they'll look like after. Now the way that I see it that this project is going to be done in four phases. Phase one is going to be to paint the floors. And I've been doing uh, some research online about what colors to paint the floors. And I've got like a beige carpeting for the coach cars and a red for the observation car. Phase two are going to be um, the minor, actually not the minor details, but the walls. I'll paint the walls like a brownish, and then I'll also paint the sides of the seats. Now, in uh, the real railroads, these real streamlined cars, from all the pictures I looked at, it wasn't just the New York Central, but a few other railroads, the uh, sides were painted silver, and the seats were blue. So I got the silver and the blue, and for the observation car, especially since going to National Train Day, I was really able to see what they looked like. These walls were like a light greenish, while this wall back here was like a brown. So, and then phase three will be the seats, the toilets, and the beds. And finally, phase four will be passengers. I just got to go out and buy some passengers. So, this is uh, the beginning, and let's get started on phase one. Alright, so uh, phase one is complete. I'll zoom in a little bit here. Not too bad, I do need to go over it a little bit more. Um, one of the problems that I encountered with phase one was that, as you can tell here, I had a little bit too wide of a paintbrush, so um, I'll go over it again with some thinner stuff. Um, hope It's light coloring here, so the uh, paint should be able to cover it. If not, I have white paint, so I'll paint it white, paint over it white, and then I'll go to the next color which would be brown here, dark brown. As for the uh, observation car, yeah, thin brush would have came real handy here, but otherwise it doesn't look all that terrible. So I got a thin brush, so let's see if I could, uh, here we go. Yeah, nice thin brush. to be able to get into some of those cracks and crevices, especially here, where I wasn't able to get so much because you need a little bit of a thinner brush. But I got a thin brush, so we'll be able to take care of everything. Um, all these walls here are going to be a brownish color, like a wood color. And here, just like the real observation cars, it's going to be like a turquoise color on the wall. Just like the uh, real Pullman cars of the day. Not the Pullman, the observation cars. Going to National Train Day helped me, a lot, helped me out big time because I was actually able to see all the different colors used in the rail cars. So, I'm going to try to stick to that. Um, after that... I'm going to paint the uh, sides of the seats here. The sides of the seats are going to be like a silver color. And the seats themselves are going to be blue. So, let's get the phase two. Alright, phase two is complete. I didn't sound too happy about phase one or enthusiastic about it for listening back at it. But um, now that it's got more color, it looks so much better. As you can see, I got the turquoise for the walls here and the Pullman and the. Uh, Sleeping part, the observation car. I got the brown walls. It'll go off to go over it again with a second coat. So, um, it's just temporary. I tried painting the sides of the seats silver just to cover up some of the mistakes in the paint, but uh, yeah, you could tell, but I mean, the silver is pretty much the same thing as what the, uh, they came in. So, it is what it is, but I'm not complaining. So, like I said, I painted the backs of the seats here and the arms of the seats here and the uh, car brown. 
Everything here is brown, so now I'm gonna go paint the actual seats themselves and all the other little details like the uh, benches and the seats in here or the beds. Everything here, the toilets, the sinks, they gotta be painted. So that's now, so let's get to it. Okay, phase three is complete. The painting is done, and here's just a look at it. I picked up some people, so I'm starting to put people in. Um, I'll get to that in a second. This is just placement. I haven't glued them yet. As you can see, got seats here are blue. They look a lot better with some color on them. Got white in the bathroom for the uh, sinks and the uh, toilet. And I got this one guy here. He's supposed to sit against the wall or something, but... Um, there's no wall to put them against, so I figured I'd just throw them in the bathroom waiting to uh, use the facilities, since he looks anxious too. And I'll put them near the window so people could see. Although no one will really see, but... Um, observation car, red, some white, got the seats painted, people sitting in them, getting ready to go. So, once I put the people in, I'll put the shells back on, and the 20th Century Limited will be ready to roll. Okay, so everything is complete. Passengers are in. Walls, seats, floors, toilets, tables, everything's been painted. And this concludes the project. Thank you for watching and thank you. Hope And uh, if you do it, go ahead. I say do it. It's a little uh, tedious, but I think that you like the results. I'm happy with the results, so thank you for watching.